All right, what's up with the YouTube fam? I'm back again with another video. Listen, man, <laughs> y'all sending me these videos and these pictures of that baby, bro. That ain't, hey, y'all be careful doing that, man. You can get in trouble for that shit. That is not <laughs> legal for you to be doing, man. Don't send me none of that, man. But basically, long story short, for those who don't know what's going on, and like y'all already know, I really don't be covering these topics like this, and I try to stay away from it, you know what I'm saying? Because, I mean, these people going to do what they want to do when they want to do them. You know what I'm saying? And I mean, shit, a lot of people be getting frustrated over somebody else's situation. And we can't control it, you know? Just let the people do what they're going to do, find out what they're going to find out on their own about each other. But as far as, like, trying to dictate what they do in their relationship, it's kind of pointless, man. you just making yourself mad, you know? But anyways, man, long story short, um, I'm kind of not all the way in the mix with this, so I'm trying to piece it together. But basically, long story short, it was Blueface, you know... Uh, telling everybody what was going on with his son, giving like, you know, just certain details that a lot of people not rocking with. And he actually posted the child, you know what I'm saying, body parts and stuff on the internet. And the internet just went into a frenzy, you know, as they should. You know, I mean, I feel like you should never post nothing like that on the internet. But that's that man's son. He gonna do what he wanna do. They don't make it right, but at the same time, shit, we can't tell that man what to do. And y'all already know, as y'all can see, Cuz don't give a damn about nothing. <laughs> he gonna do what he wanna do, say what he wanna say, and I mean, shit, it is what it is. What's the point? And I mean, shit, sometimes you just gotta overlook what people got going on and just keep on pushing. Cause when you fuel the fire, it's just gonna get bigger and bigger and bigger. But, you know, they know what they doing. They on the internet, and um, yeah, they gonna just do what they gonna do. They just be doing this for a long time, and I feel like a lot of people should just take their emotions out of it. And just keep on pushing. Because you're going to stretch out. You're going to have a damn stroke. And they chilling. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They're going to be back together at the end of the day. So it is what it is. But I did find some videos. Um, I did put some together that some people sent me. And some that I found. So we're going to watch this. And see what the hell is going on with the whole situation. But I'm going to be basically just reading what y'all got to say. Let me know what y'all feel about this in the comment section. But let's go ahead and get into it and see what's going on with this whole situation. Hey, what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Look. What's up with it? I'm not hiding Oh yeah, telling everybody business. So, Junior did not get surgery. Hmm? So I don't know what he's talking about. Talking about oh, the baby had to get surgery. He did need surgery, but he didn't have surgery. He needs surgery for his hernia because his daddy gonna talk all his little, all his boy. So we're gonna clear it up. He didn't get surgery yet, and yes, he do has to get surgery for you. But why are you sitting up on the? And, and then I text him like, "What's up? Right? What? What are we doing? Why are you online talking about his hernia? Because he like." You know my being like he's being bitter. So personally, I don't know what to do with a as a baby father that's quick to and then you think I'm trolling with little baby because what I'm tweeting. I don't have nothing to do with nothing. Leave me alone. I don't even, like first of all. I did the video. That should have been good enough. You want to keep going with this shit? Cause that person, all right. You want to do all this? He just, uh, this man. I just can't with this man. He's weird. He's weird as shit. And then it's like he, he, the fact that the baby name is Krishan, so he like personally take it out on the baby. That's why I'm like, well, you all together. We don't need you. I gave him a key to my house. He have access to, to the crib. All he's, he's scared to walk in all that. Like he acts weird. Like. Since I got my own shit, he kind of like, he does, he does female shit, like, just because we didn't get this house together, he will never walk in this bitch. That's cool, but, you online talking about your baby, oh, he needed me. No, we didn't. You did that just so you could talk online about it. What are you talking about? You wasn't so concerned about his damn hernia. Well, you came to Baltimore, well, you was concerned about putting out that damn song. Let's talk about that. Then you put out that song. Like... Alright, he, he getting on my nerves with this internet shit, and then he be way cool. Cause I don't want to sign with Mills Music. It's nothing. It's nothing wrong with Mills Music. Nothing wrong with signing to him. It's just like, what's the point? That's complicated. That's weird. No, what she just do? Yeah, whatever. But I'm saying, like, bro, he played this weird narrative. Oh my god, like, what? Why are you doing it? Like, so he's like, you lied and said the baby was healthy. Nobody lied. He is healthy. The hernia doesn't make him unhealthy. That's a normal effect with boys. Uh, they said that 
that's a common thing that happens to, uh, you know, newborns and shit. So I'm like, okay. He's like, what you lying for? It's not even that. I just didn't think to tell the world that we got hernias for clickbait. And then, you know, then instead of saying, oh, it hurt your feelings, I'm sorry. He like, well, you did this. You told the world that you was moving. And I'm trying to, you did. What is, you so what? Why are you talking about the baby though? What, okay, what, what hurt me got to do with hurting the baby? You know what I'm saying? Like, why are you guys talking about the baby? What are you talking about? Then he's like, well, you, I only did that when you was talking about me. Like, what? He is such a beautiful baby. He's a blessing. And just, since he's been here, his father feels so evil. Straight up. And, and then, and then, I'll be telling him, oh, you, we don't need you all the time. Because I, I only say that up until I've been feeling like I'm begging him to come see his kid. Like, oh, you want he, he personally don't want to build a relationship with his son because he feel like we don't stay in the same household. He didn't get this house. He said that. So when I said I gave you the key, he like, I'm not, I'm not, she can't just pass me no keys. So basically, I passed him a key like how I will pass a bitch a key. I mean, I, yeah, like, yeah, you feel me? But I ain't think you like that. He's like, and then I'm just trying to like, wait, I ain't no bitch. Me passing you the keys, that's making you a bitch. No, Literally. I don't. Then he's like, you're not my BM girl. What are you talking about? I really wish I wasn't a BM. I wish, I wish, I wish, uh, y'all playing with me. Then, boom. You was never could. Let me go. I'm glad my kid don't understand what that means. You ain't just exposed him. <laughs> exposed him to the world, bro. Hey, that was Woo! crazy. And that's crazy. I sent the picture to let him know that it's serious matters about our kid. I would never do if I said that you was gonna post it. <gasps> oh, bro, my brothers wasn't locked up, bro. It'd be a lot more want, bro. You need to just go to jail, bro. You just do. You just need to go get sent away, bro. Your probation officer need to do what he said on that paper. He said what he said. You already got a bullshit ass probation officer that's not with you. Now you trying all your best bets, bro. You you better off. You better off dying, bro. Real shit, bro. You hey. better off being not here, bro. Real shit, like I don't even know why we even had a child. It brought the most evil part I've never seen. Like I seen the evil shit before, but when I got pregnant and you was trying to, while I was pregnant, while I was five months, that shit was evil enough. Then when the baby's here, you post his. Whoa, wholehearted bitch. And you might be gay on him. Damn, she be saying uh, that. How about you tell little baby how you want to I don't want to fuck with baby. You do. Mm. You're crying about him. Damn. You're rapping about him. You're tweeting about him. That's some shit. Niggas do that. When you got crushes on people. When you remember when we were a kid and you got a crush on somebody <laughs> when you was little? And you used to mess with them and pick with them and agitate them, but only because you like them? He like little baby. He's he want to be the hoochie, fuck. He want to fill up on that booty. He's posting our son dick. He <laughs> she could do. He's dirty. Are you, Jay, this posted junior dick, bro. On, online. Huh? That's weird. Talking about his hernias. All right, now I'm just questioning. So do you want I want to know what y'all think about why he did it. You know what I'm saying? Like I said before, I really don't be into all of this, but I just feel like that, you know, there's a lot of allegations towards him and stuff like that. So I feel like that he's just trying to prove his point in any way, shape, form, and fashion. Anything that he got to do, and I feel like that you should never go to these, you know, lengths or extents to show other people, you know what I'm saying, what's really going on in your situation. You know, because you could be 
bring yourself down and a lot of people are like that too as well you know they don't really give a damn what they got to do and who they got at home to get their point across as well and i feel like that you know she you know be the man is just certain things you don't do you know especially putting your child out there like that to the world but he probably felt like that he was doing something right you know what i'm saying and i'm not justifying it at all as you can see i'm just saying like maybe he just genuinely thought he could do that and there would be no repercussions behind it but you know in the day and age that we in boy you you do something on the internet and people ain't rocking with it they're gonna go yeah so it is what it is but let me know what y'all thoughts and opinions are on that right there i don't feel like i mean it probably was some spite into it as well but overall i feel like he's just trying to prove his point all the time and i feel like he got to stop this shit because if you pay attention all he doing is just pleading this case all the time you know what i'm saying so i feel like he's just trying to be heard and women ain't trying to hear nothing but now they turn it on her as well because she just called everybody broke and y'all already know how the shit go man you ain't finna be little me and i still support you you feel me but well, it is what it is let's get back into it and she probably was just talking to a haters too let me say that but y'all already know what i mean people gonna take offense to that in all walks of life even if they richer than her they still be mad that you speak it down on others like that let's get back into it though sure. Oh, your son Ryan, just because it's his pink and his balls right there. Did that turn you on, Blueface? That's the real question. I thought when I, when I sent that picture, that was going to make you feel for us. That was going to make you run for us. That was going to let you know, don't put me through what I don't need to really go through because I'm handling this on the low, on the side. I'm handling all something happening to go through a uh, surgery because the turn is bigger than most. And blah, 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 blah. You posted it for my to get a satisfaction from it. So my can beat that You a shit, yo. You weird as shit, yo. And I hope somebody reports you, because I'm not. I hope somebody reports you for posting my son on my mind, bro. I don't even know how to look into shit like that. How do I prove that he just did some weird shit like that? It's on social media. He posted <laughs> You're a goofy, bro. You deserve whatever you got coming after this. Swear to God. So tell little baby you have a crush on him. Tell him you want him, not me. Mm. Mm. And let him know, and let the world know, um, you're with oh, You posted your son. Okay, post Javon pictures that you have in your phone, from his phone. When Javon took pictures, in his phone of his you sent them to your phone. Post that blue face. Post your other son's pictures that, that your son took. Not not the one that I took and sent to you because he has a hernia and I'm being a concerned mom and I wanted you to be concerned about your son too. Post your other son. Post it so we can know how it's supposed to look. Huh? Huh? Exactly. That's weird. You're doing weirdo sh You're doing you don't get I don't stand for that. You need to go to hell. Mm. Today. You need to go to jail. Today. I should call the cops. Right now. I just don't want that karma. Should I call the cops? I think you should report that because that is top and then Alright, cool. He, he said, boom, 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 I started popping my shit. You're not just gonna do that though. Like, he's weird. Like, like why I had to feel like I had to say something. But why you had to throw it, like, 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 you had, like, what are you throwing up your kids for, like, as in this one is not, like, like, you don't want to own this one, claim this one because it's named after me? He's just a clown. That's why I want him in the live, so we can do this for a while, because he think, he think, like, I won't say this in his face. Uh, with the internet, what are you talking about? Bitch, you can go live. Yeah, you can go live. Bitch, you can, we can go live. Real shit, what? What are you talking about? Weird ass. Like, what, 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 what logic was that? He's like, well, you make the baby Instagram up. You make the baby on Instagram. So, 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 I made the Instagram for you telling the world that you got money is to hurt me. Because you know what I said on the phone before I even said he had a doctor's appointment. I said, you better not die. I die, I die. And then you, you still do it for God. He's a weird. 
Tell this bitch Joe Malone. That's what I said. Like, and then he's mad. So if the bitch, oh, okay, yeah, I can call my shit here. Yeah. I want you pulling up. Yeah, 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 leave us alone. But you have the keys to my house. So, boy, you know what's up. Not like that, so don't even. Nobody really, nobody really not stop you from pulling up. But you're getting alive though. And pop because, because, bitch. Don't be talking about no mother. Um, she talking about some. What did he say? His bitch, he's a bitch. Damn. Fuck. Use a bitch. Blue face straight up. Use a bitch. Your fucking mom raised a bitch. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. So you gonna start crying at the end, bed? Oh, you're gonna lie. Send a request, huh? We can't talk about it on the phone, but you can, you can, you can, you can play one all day, huh? Then, alright. Let me put the video. Cause I'm not gonna be like, oh, of my son for a clout. Why are you posting our son, bro? Why would you post it, bro? Bro, like, bro. Like, I'm thinking, I'm thinking of arguing about something else. That just got my life a picture of. situation. I didn't try to help her plan for this baby. So this is what happened. Like I told her, she's been planning to do baby things. I'm thinking baby things will happen after the baby's born. She was like, no, they're ready to get her. I'm a dog when I'm pregnant. I said, oh um, yeah? You sure? You're going to go on a WWE fight show while you're pregnant? So I tried it. You know, chop it up with her head. Instead of doing that, how about me and you plan a baby shower, we find a spot, we plan for the baby's birth. You know what she said? I need to get on the road and get to this money and that baby shower. And so, she's like, I don't need to do none of that. I'm about to go get it. I said, damn, all right, big dog, fuck it. So she goes on daddy's beef. You know, I'm paying close attention, I'm watching. She's getting treated like a contestant on the show. And it's really making me mad because I'm like, your baby father was blue fish. You're for shining out. Why are you on the show? Well, like a bunch of, no offense to anybody, but like, but a bunch of just, you know, regular people that's trying to <laughs> brighten in the horizon. Yeah. 
But whatever, she goes on there, it's not what she thinks. Nobody fights for her like she thought. Nobody does what she says on command. So then she hits my phone. Oh, I'm ready to come home. Pastor Mike told me I should come back and I should try it out with you because he's seen all these tactics. This sir, he said her pastor told her to come back and do the right thing with me. Now I'm going to holler at y'all at the end of this right here. Like I said before, I don't be too much into this, but a lot of y'all was sending me certain things. So yeah, I'm going to holler at y'all as soon as it's over with. All right. But whatever. She goes on there. It's not what she thinks. Nobody fights for her like she thought. Nobody does what she says on command. So then she hits my phone. Oh, I'm ready to come home. Pastor Mike told me I should come back and I should try it out with you because he's seen all these tattoos. The bitch said her. She said her pastor told her to come back and do the right thing with me. And the bitch still didn't listen. She got the word straight from God to the pastor to her. Yo, you should kind of go back and really try harder with Blue, with Blue because you got all these tattoos of him. So it must have been something that led you up to this point. You should see that through. All right, that's what she's telling me. She's telling me, oh, I went to church. After she beat the white girl, or had her friends beat the white girl, she told me, oh, I went to church and the pastor told me I should come back to you. I said, damn, that's what the pastor said? And, uh, all right, shit, shout out the pastor. He knows something, right? He knows something. Boom. So that's when she leaves Baddie's East. She comes back. I got a whole family in my house. I told her, look, I will be homeless with you until we find a spot. So I leave my house and I stay in the hotel with her. I'm in the hotel with her, right? So boom, this is when I got stabbed. So I leave her in the hotel room. Hey, I'm finna go to the gym and work out. You stay here and chill. It was an early morning workout. She tired, I'm like, just chill. Go to the gym, get a workout in, boom, I get stabbed. Hit her, yo, I just got stabbed. We had appointments to see places, penthouses. I wanted her to get a penthouse. Boom. Oh, my God. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I go, instead of going to get stitched up, going to do anything, I go back to the hotel to make sure we make these appointments to see these penthouses. Right? I got a whole gash in my leg. I'm walking, stum stemming around, looking at these penthouses for her and the baby to have some, you know, something. Then... I got to go to Atlanta to do the Smasher Pass. They got some bread. They got some bread for me. So I'm like, all right, fuck it. Let's go. Take the bitch with me. We get there. It's time for me to go handle this business. I'm telling her, like, yo, I don't want to bring no pregnant girl to this, to this social thing. You know, it's going to affect, you know, my program. She instantly make it about her. Oh, I'm not cool enough to come with you. I came with you out here. You mean, I need to go with you. What do we win? We argue. Hey, you know me. I'm out of here. I'm, I just told you what I'm about to do. I'm out of here. Guess what she do? Tit for tat. She leave the room. She at Clark Atlanta University. She over here. She over there. All on my dime. I'm like, cool. I'm not mad. Fuck it. Rock gonna do what she wanna do. That's where I got mad at. Later that night, around 12 a.m., we supposed to meet up. I end up going to this restaurant with everybody from the little shit. She hit me talking about she got some food for me. So I don't order food at the restaurant. I'm like, my bitch got some food for me. She pull up. She pull up. I'm like, where the food at? I'm hangry at this point. She said, oh, I threw it out. It was nasty. Huh? So I don't get to try the food? Like, you just don't. I've been sitting at this restaurant all night waiting for you, thinking you got some food for me. And you get here and you tell them you threw the food away because it was nasty. So I'm instantly heated. Like, that's so selfish. Boom. We get back to the room. I need to smoke. Where the weed? Where the backwoods? Oh, I smoked all the backwoods. I don't know where to do. We don't have... You don't got no food. You don't got no backwoods. You're... Oh, my God. I'm mad. I'm bleeding a bitch. Go get me some backwoods right now. The bitch leave the room. Act like she finna go get me some backwoods. And never comes back. I'm texting her, where are you? Like, damn, you okay? Is everything all right? She missed the... Mind you, we got an appointment to see a house at 12 p.m. The flight is at 5 a.m. She didn't like none of the penthouses, 
So I upped it. I said, all right, you don't want to be in a penthouse because you feel like it's giving apartment vibes. All right, fuck it. Let's go get a rent a house out. She missed the flight. I get on the flight at 5 a.m. by myself. Haven't heard from her. Then the next day, she had a little baby restaurant leaving taste test reviews. I'm like, this what you doing? Like, you just missed. Okay, fuck it. From that day forward, I texted my financial advisor, my real estate agent, Jason Lee and his party promoter. I said, cancel the house, cancel the baby shower. I'm done with her. Her priorities is fucked. Wait, what don't you like about it? Say it, give it to <laughs> You hide it. Mm. You hide it. All right, what's up with y'all? So listen, man, like I said before, it ain't nothing that we really can do for them or, you know what I'm saying, really just stop them from being the way they're going to be with each other. They are like that and they're going to be like this. So it ain't no point in nobody, you know, stressing themselves out, having heart attacks and strokes, stuff like that, getting mad about their situation because they're going to do what they're going to do. You know what I'm saying? It's going to take for them to either hurt each other enough to stop or love each other enough to stop it. Anyway it go, you know, you just can't expect certain people to be how you gonna be in a situation you know a lot of shit be easier said than done but i feel like that you know in this situation right here they should really just take the time out to just weigh their options get shit in order put their pride to the side emotions to the side and everything like that and then they can go ahead and excel go a little bit further with this situation as far as like at least, well i just say at least for the child not for their relationship but i mean co-parenting wise yes but as far as like directly man Nah, I ain't got to worry about all that. As long as they can just do what they need to do for this child because the child need them. And from what I've seen, man, I feel like that the child should go ahead and go to the doctor and get situated, you know. And I'm not saying that they're not going to do that. I'm just saying that this what should be the... I'm just saying that that is what the priority should be right now in this situation, in my personal opinion. But overall, that's all I got to say, man. I done said enough. And like I said before, I'm going to keep on saying that. I really don't be into these topics like this, but a lot of y'all be wanting me to speak on these situations and... I don't mind doing it if my audience wants it. It is what it is. But yeah, I'm going to holler at y'all later on another video. Let me know y'all thoughts and opinions in the comment section. And I'll holler at y'all later. All right.